Hey guys, as promised, here's a video about how to use Prusa Slicer's color print feature to embed fasteners into your prints. So if you're wondering why I seem a little off, I caught COVID while I was in Boston about two weeks ago and I'm recovering, I'm okay now, but obviously still a little, you know, meh. So before I start this how to guide, I'd just like to say full disclosure, I only learned how to do this about four weeks ago. So if something goes horribly awry while you're trying this, please don't come after me. Basically, Prusa Slice's color feature was meant to allow the user to add pauses at specific stages of a print in order to change the color of filament being printed with. Here is an example of a print that was printed with different colored filaments. So in the printer's drop down menu there is actually a pause button that allows you to pause the printer mid print and switch out filaments. But obviously the Prusa slicer gives you much more accurate control because it lets you see exactly which layer you are adding a pause at rather than you staring at the print and selecting the pause button when you think it's time to change the filament. So step 1. You model the CAD design you want with a cavity for the fastener part you want embedded. Personally, I like to make the cavity's dimensions about 0.2mm larger than the dimensions of the actual fastener. This gives me peace of mind that the fastener will easily fit into the cavity without having to force it and that my printer won't crash into the fastener when I've inserted it. Then once you're finished modeling your CAD file, you export it as an SDL. From there, you import your SDL file into Prusa Slicer, choose the preferred print settings, and then slice it. In the sliced preview mode, you'll see a drop down menu at the bottom of the dialog box next to view. Click it and then select color print. Then you'll see this ruler like control at the side of the preview window. Those numbers represent the various layers of the print. Clicking and dragging the controller allows you to pinpoint the exact layer at which you want to add a pause. Scroll to the layer of the print that shows where the cavity ends, in other words, before the cavity closes. Click the plus sign to add a pause there and click the slice button again. You'll notice in the preview that the print being represented, part of it is in one color and then the other part after the pause is in another color. Export your G-code and then load it onto the printer. Then once your printer starts printing the part, it will pause automatically and ask you to unload the filament. Unload the filament, insert your fastener and then reload the filament and finish your print. Ta-da! There you have it. An embedded fastener in your print. So for you guys who are wondering where Real Review Part 2 is, basically I'm still working on it. It's been delayed quite a bit because of the busyness of going to Boston and then getting sick and trying to recover from that. There's still quite a bit of footage that I want to shoot for it just so that I can get the real review video perfect. And yeah, I, I want to give you guys quality stuff to look at. Please be patient, it is still coming and yeah, I'll get it out as soon as possible. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!